Hi, I'm Karen for Expert Village. We mix that just a minute just to get our eggs beaten up. And now we're going to add our flour. We're going to start by adding just three cups of our flour. This is so that we can get a nice smooth batter with the paddle and incorporate all our wet ingredients. We'll mix that for about five minutes. Start your beater slowly so the flour doesn't all come in. And we'll beat that until it's smooth. The dough has been mixing about five minutes. Now we're going to add flour one cup at a time until the mixer can't handle the dough, until it becomes too thick. And then we're going to use the dough hook. And we'll continue kneading it. Now if the flour is coming out of the machine like that, I'll show you a little trick when we add our next cup. Let that get smooth. We'll shut it down, add another cup. This time I'm going to use a bag to cover it and make sure that flour doesn't puff out. Okay, let me see. That's Three, four, five. This is our sixth cup. Put that bag over there so the flour doesn't come out of our bowl. Okay. The dough is getting thicker. I'm going to just add a little bit more. It's good to uh, mix it a lot with the paddle to develop those glutens and get the stretchiness of the dough. Okay, now that's pretty thick and it's getting harder for our beater to handle. So I'm going to scrape that down and we'll replace it with the dough hook.